Todo el mundo cubierto, ¿verdad? Guild of a Leather Apron, uh, also known as a, the Advisor of the Year Award. And any of those, there's several of them I see sitting in this room wearing them. Could they please rise? Yeah, and there's Frank down here. Where we got some, and and I want to point out there's as half as many ladies as there are men. Pretty awesome that for being me, a guy that was raised with uh, male advisors, and then heard that we're going to have female advisors and like you know, whatever. Well, I tell you, I love our ladies. Please give these people a round of applause. So since Dad Reed, which by the way brings his greetings, um, he is doing something really different. He is escorting his wife to Washington, D.C. She is the Eastern Star uh, State Representative to Washington, D.C. and he is escorting her. He gets to be the husband of, for a change. Um, but he wanted me to tell everybody hello. He and I, over the last two, three years, um, talked twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, sometimes four times a day. And we had a discussion when we made the transition in December about Advisor of the Year. We had a very short list of people that just really stood out in our minds. And I've got to say, we have some incredible advisors, some great, great people. And one name kept kind of coming up. We've had a couple more discussions again, and this one name kept coming up each time. So we, we made the decision of who we were going to award this award to, go to the leather apron. I did all the paperwork, wrote up all the fancy paperwork and stuff, submitted to Himalaya International. And the executive director called me and said, Jeff, you got a little problem. The person you want to give this award to is not an active advisor. And the advisor of the year kind of has to go to an advisor. I said, okay, Nabil, let's talk about options. And he said, you know what? You're an executive officer. You can do whatever you want. However, we have an award, not given very often, uh, called the Medal of Appreciation. Well, Kareen and I have been talking, Mom Flaherty, I'm sorry, Mom Flaherty and I have been talking about utilizing some of these awards that Dean Lay doesn't use all the time. That's off awards. Uh, huh, okay. Let's do a Medal of Appreciation instead. Because this person, albeit not a active Dean Lay advisor, has probably been the number one supporter of Washington Dean Malay. Probably the number one supporter of the youth groups. And this individual built a special relationship with one of our officers three years ago sat down and met and talked and worked and tried to figure out how they could work together. Kind of a unique concept in the Masonic community. This person has been at Joby installations, Rainbow meetings, Demolay meetings. He even came to our statewide leaders ball and danced with a state master counselor but he danced and he was there for no other reason than his personal love and his personal passion for our organizations I tell you it sure makes my job easy as an executive officer when I have that kind of support when I make a phone call to the Grand Master of the Masons and says, I need help, and he comes through. 
It is my great honor and my great pleasure to present to our Grand Master, Dean Heineman, the Medal of Appreciation for Washington Dean Life for this year. Right started a tradition of when uh, a new Grand Lodge officer was elected Grand Junior Warden, making sure that he came to Dean Lane International. And I spent a lot of time talking to Dean, picking his brain, and he spent more time picking mine about things and about how he can involve himself, immerse himself in our organization. And then he created a very unique bond with our state junior counselor. And then the senior counselor, when he's deputy grand master, and now standing together, they are more than just leaders of organizations. They are friends and brothers in our work. Nobody else in our mind stood out for his support of our organization. And if you ever been in this room, please rise and give him one big round of applause and thank you. relationships with our kids. 